Pension consolidation involves combining multiple defined contribution pensions into one single pension plan. As a financial planner, I get a lot of questions about pen pension consolidation, what are the benefits, what are the drawbacks, and how does it actually work? In this video, I'll explain the advantages, disadvantages, and things to check before you consolidate your pension. I'll start off by quickly explaining what pension consolidation is. I think of pension consolidation of reducing your potential number of employers in retirement. Like an employer from each pension, you will get a payslip and a tax code. If you have several jobs over the years, chances are you've accumulated multiple workplace pension pots. Consolidation just means bringing them all together under one roof. This can simplify the management of your pensions as well as potentially offering you some savings in relation to charges. So let's look at some reasons why you should consolidate your pensions. As I mentioned earlier, simplified management is one of the main drivers for people when they're thinking about consolidating. You'll have all your retirement savings in one easy to manage pension, which means fewer statements to keep track of and a clearer picture of your overall savings. Having multiple pension accounts could mean that you're paying multiple sets of fees, as well as you could potentially lose track of a pension. Consolidating your pension can also give you greater control of your investments. You can choose a single investment strategy that aligns with your retirement goals, rather than juggling different approaches and different risk levels across multiple accounts. So we've covered the reasons why you should consider consolidation, but I wouldn't be a very good financial planner if I didn't think about the negatives. Some older pension schemes can have valuable benefits such as a guaranteed annuity rate or enhanced tax-free cash. Consolidating these pensions could mean that you would lose out on these perks, so you should always check if there's any benefits or any exit fees that apply with your pensions before proceeding with some consolidation. One element to think about is performance. Again, how is each of the pensions performing? Would it make sense to consolidate them and have that common investment strategy? You should check if any of these negatives apply before consolidating your pensions so that your decision is informed as possible. Obviously, I would suggest speaking to a financial planner because these decisions can have a big impact on your retirement. Everyone's financial circumstances is different and what may be right for you may be completely different for a colleague or a neighbor. So please bear this in mind when you're making retirement choices. The first step, of course, is to gather information about your existing pensions, account numbers, who they're with, and any associated paperwork. And then you have a choice to potentially transfer all your pensions into an existing pot or set up a new, modern, cost-effective pension, which could become your main retirement vehicle. You may feel confident enough to review the pros and cons of this approach yourself, but you may also feel financial advice would add value for you. A financial advisor would review the technical aspects of each pension and consider if an alternative would offer more value for you. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If we can help you, then we will. Thank you for watching.